Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well and welcome to the VCL training part 6. In this video, we will learn how to enable call recording in a campaign and agent level. We will also learn how to access call conversation recording in VCDial. There are two methods to access call recordings in VCDial. In method 1, we can retrieve all call conversation recordings related to an agent. It's usually useful when you want to quality control an agent. In method 2, you can search for call recording based on the customer information. Usually useful when a customer has a complaint and you want to search call recording based on the customer number. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and hit the like button if you find this video useful. Let's get to action. In the first part, we will learn how to enable call recording in the campaign settings and also we will explore the call recordings options in the user settings. In order to enable call recordings, uh, you can go to the campaigns, select your campaign and then go to the detail view. So go to the campaign select your campaign that you want uh, to have recording enabled select detail view and search for the option of recording um, campaign recording this is the option that you need to enable call recordings it has different options never means it's not enabled on demand when this is on demand, uh, agent or user can uh, start or uh, stop recording. So uh, the agents, users have a, a start and a stop recording. So users can control when they want to record or when they, when they don't want. Uh, in some campaigns, it's useful. For example, when you want to ask for credit card information or any sensitive information, you want to give this uh, control to your agents. But by default, it's not recording anything. So your agent need to click on the start recording to record the calls. Next option is all calls. All calls will by default record all call conversations, but agent still has access to a stop and a start recording. So it will automatically record all calls, but your agents can stop and start recording. Next option is all force. All force is like all calls, but your agents won't have ability to stop and start recording. So it will uh, record all conversations and this button in the agent panel, a start and a stop recording will be disabled. So if you want all call conversations automatically recorded and agents uh, should not be able to uh, stop the recording then select all forced the next option is campaign record file name by default uh, it will save the recording files with the full date and customer phone i prefer to add more options if you click on the question mark you will see uh, the other options that you can set here i usually prefer to add the campaign name as well so that when i want to uh, retrieve the recordings I have the campaign name and also the agent the agent who answered the call or who made the calls this is uh, what I usually set and it's useful sometimes because when you want to for example copy the files to FTP server and uh, if uh, some users just have access to the call recordings it's easier for them to search these are the options, uh, the necessary options in the campaign level to enable the call recording. You need to submit. And that's it. Now the call recordings are enabled. In the user level, you have this control as well. So if you go to the users and you select your users, we have two options related to the call recording. The first one is agent recordings equals to one. If it is zero, then it won't inherit the options from campaign level. By default, it is one. So let it be one. 
if you want to disable recording or have any other uh, preference for a specific agent in a campaign, then you can use this agent recording override. What is this agent recording override? Imagine here we have we have enabled call recording and we set it to all force. But for this specific agent, I want to set for all calls. Means for this specific agent, I want to give him access to a stop and a start recording. So agent recording override will override the campaign option for that specific agent. That's it. That's the options that uh, we have in the VCDL for enabling the call recording. In the next... Now it's time to see how we can retrieve these call recordings. We have two methods in VCDL to retrieve and listen to the call recordings. One of them is in the users and one of them is in the lists. What are the difference between them? Sometimes you want to quality control your users. So you need to listen to the recording of a specific user. This is the first method. In order to do that, you need to select users and the user that you want to listen to. Of course, uh, this is call recordings. So after the call, you can listen to the conversation because we have another method that we call it call spy that we will learn later. So user 5001, select on the stats. In the stats page, you will see the statistics related to that specific users. For example, uh, when they have login, when they log out, what was the pause time, and what was the result of the calls, and also you will see the call conversation recordings. If you go to this part, recording for this time period, you can see uh, in the date and time, the call is recorded. I had just one call for sample. And then if you click on the location, you are able to download the recording and listen in your player. So for example, here, as you can see, the call file, the call conversation, it has date and time, it has the phone number of the customer, it has campaign name, and it has the agent name. These are the parameters that we have set in the first part. And let's go to the second method. The second method is usually useful when you want to search for a call recording based on the customer information. In order to do that, select lists and select search for a lead. As I told you, lead means customers here. So I want to search for a specific call recording related to the specific customer. For example, I have the phone number of the customer. I can put the phone number or email address, first name, or last name if I have imported this information, and then select Submit. I will, so all, I will see all the calls to that a specific number. If I click on the lead ID, I will see the information of that customer. And in the recording for this lead, I will see the call conversation that my agent 5001 had to this uh, number, to this specific number. I can click here and play the call conversation.